What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And guys, I know it's been a little while. Uh, I understand that. First of all, let's take a look at this guy's lineup. Because this is one of the better teams that I've actually played in head-to-head -head seasons. Uh, you know, it's not the best team ever, but he definitely had some high 90 overall players. Uh, certainly better than what my team was at at this point. And like I said, it had been a while uh, since the last time I uploaded a head-to-head -head seasons game. And the reason for it, honestly, is because I was considering quitting head-to-head -head seasons. Because there were a whole hell of a lot of problems happening for me when I tried to play head-to-head -head seasons. You guys know all about the issues that I was having with the disconnects and things like that. Where, you know, somebody, I would be up 28 nothing on somebody and just, you know, killing them. And they would quit and then the game would give me a PlayStation 4 error. Well, I actually figured out that there's an error within the Madden 15 game that actually causes it to not allow you to have over X amount of friends. And when I say X, I don't know what the number is, but I know that I was over that number. And uh, my friend Nick Jr. actually helped figure that one out. Uh, he basically looked at Cash Nasty Gaming, and Cash Nasty actually had the same problems that I did. He couldn't see his friends lists. He couldn't see um, his friends' trade blocks or anything like that. When I say friends list, I mean within Madden 15. So basically, it was having a problem loading his friends list. And then he would also have the problem, apparently, where if people quit in games against him, it would give him an error. So, I mean, this is something that is, uh, it's been reported to EA, and apparently they're working on a change for it, but at the moment, there really isn't anything to allow it to be fixed. So, uh, basically, what I had to do to get back into doing head-to-head -head seasons games was uh, delete a ton of you off of my friends list. And that's not really something that I wanted to do. Uh, I feel really bad about it because it's kind of something that... I kind of pride myself on just, you know, having my friends and and not only just my friends, but my fans on my friends list as well. And, and we can become friends just by, you know, hanging out, playing games and things like that. And it really sucks because uh, the error within Madden is causing it so that I can't play other games against you guys. I can't play other games with you guys now because I can't have you on my friends list. Now, granted, we can still send each other invites within games and stuff like that, but it's not anywhere near as smooth as it otherwise would be. So, again, it's really, really frustrating that Madden's causing this whole problem, but, you know, I'm, I'm happy that they're working on it, and I'm really happy that I was actually able to figure out what the error was, and despite the fact that it's not going to be fixed anytime soon, it doesn't sound like, um, at least I can play for the time being. I mean, that's, that's really what's important, I guess, is to actually be able to play the Head to Head Seasons games. So... Now you guys are going to see some of these head-to-head -head seasons games that I guess I I was storing up. Uh, I, like I said, I didn't know if I even wanted to continue this series because I didn't want to stop in the middle of a season or something like that and have you guys wonder what was going on. So, um, yeah, anyways, uh, so this is kind of a couple of weeks ago now that I actually played this game against this opponent. And it was at the time when the Marshall Fault card was out, the rookie one, and it was, I don't know, 92 overall or whatever it was. Pretty good running back, so I am using him in this game. Obviously, I've got quarterback Walter Payton. And, uh, you know, just having some fun playing some head-to-head -head seasons games here. Early in my head-to-head uh, -head seasons career, because I've had so many of those errors, I mean, I can't tell you guys how many different times that I've been playing a head-to-head -head seasons game and one of those errors happens. And there's just nothing that I could do about it, man. It was so frustrating it would it would basically ruin any excitement that I had to play another game no matter how big I was winning I, you know if I was winning 28 to nothing like I said and that happened a few times where I was just killing these people and then they would quit and then it was give me the error and then it was just one of those things where I just didn't want to play anymore because I was so frustrated and I didn't want to have to sit and play four or five games just to get a win and I don't rage quit myself every loss that I've had this season in ultimate team has been uploaded to this channel every single one of them it's not it's not an embarrassing thing to me I mean I guess it can be at times depending on the score uh, and you guys will see one of those if uh, if I didn't upload that already um, one of the pink slips games oh man it was real real rough so it's not again it's not about not uploading my losses it was seriously about not being able to finish games so now 
I'm so happy. I'm going to be able to continue playing head-to-head -head season games, it sounds like, guys. So you guys are going to see more of this 60 frames per second uh, gameplay. And that's another thing that I wanted to quick touch on here. If you guys have been watching my Pink Slips videos, you've seen a lot of skipping on the videos. And that's actually due to the Elgato HD60. And uh, if you guys are not familiar with that, what that is, it's a uh, capture device. It's the thing that you connect to your PlayStation. It's basically the go-between between your PlayStation and your computer so that your computer can record the gameplay that you're playing on your PlayStation or your Xbox or whatever device that you're on. And mine, the HD60, which is the brand new, when I say brand new, it's, I don't know, it's almost a year old now probably, uh, but it's a 60 frames per second capture card. It's something that not a lot of other capture cards have. Most of them record at 50, or at 30 frames per second, excuse me, which is why you see when you're watching this gameplay, my gameplay quality is very, very high compared to your average Madden YouTuber. Most people have uh, the 30 frames per second, which looks really good, but then when you compare it to 60 frames per second, it's just, it doesn't hold a candle to it. The problem comes when you actually try and stream, and when you want to do a face cam like I do, I use uh, XSplit, and if I use um, or if I use Open Broadcaster, either of those two things, it's causing major, major problems. And it will work for a short period of time. At times, I can actually stream in 60 frames per second. It looks freaking amazing. My face cam's over the top of it. It just looks amazing, other than my ugly mug being on there, of course. But then I get this weird problem where it all of a sudden just starts losing frames completely randomly there doesn't appear to be any reason why it's happening it's extremely extremely frustrating for me so there is currently no workaround for it as i'm uh, that i'm aware of but i am in talks right now with elgato they did follow me on twitter and we've been working on trying to figure out what's going on with this and see if we can figure out any sort of solution if we can i'm going to hop back on the elgato hd60 Otherwise, from now on, you guys are going to be watching me play on my old Elgato when I stream, which is only going to be 30 frames per second, but the quality is going to be substantially better. So I promise you guys, you guys are going to see better quality videos here uh, in the next couple of weeks here, regardless of what happens. So I apologize for all the poor quality. Unfortunately, it was out of my control. I didn't know why it was causing the problem, but now I am aware that it is indeed the Elgato that was causing the problem on those videos. So I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys enjoyed this little gameplay video. Uh, we didn't really talk about the actual gameplay at all in it, but I did end up winning 27 to 14. His offense was pretty much just deep balls and he did beat me twice, which is just ridiculous. This game is so obnoxious with the deep balls. But uh, I came back, was able to move the ball down the field myself. A lot of read option, a lot of good passing, actually, by Walter in this one. So I had a good game. Did walk out with the W. And uh, again, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions on any of the stuff, if you guys want to play Pink Slips, be sure to tune in to uh, the stream today. And thank you guys for understanding and working with me through these technical difficulties. I appreciate it. Thanks again. I'll talk to you guys again soon.